All right, what's up, family? Welcome inside the big week. Hope you guys are doing good. Keep in between the lines. Got your load secure. All right, let's talk about some uh, autonomous trucks, okay? For those who don't know, autonomous trucks are self-driving trucks. Yes, this is trucking video, so you know what? Let's talk some trucking. Okay, so I spoke about this on one of my earlier videos, man, um, but I didn't get into detail. And at that time, I was thinking something differently. I was thinking like, ah, these trucks aren't gonna make their way in till many, many, many years from now. But that's not the case. That is not the case. These trucks are coming a lot faster than what I believe, all right? They'll be here very soon, in a way, okay? Let me explain, look. <clears throat> going off the research that I've done on autonomous trucks, right? Um, well, first of all, let me go ahead and explain. When I first heard about this, I was like, all right, homie, you know what? It's gonna be forever till they actually get here because I was thinking about the whole job of trucking, the whole duties that come of trucking. That's not what they're looking into, okay? The spans out about the noise, I'm close to a freeway. Um, but that's not what they're looking into. So when I was thinking about the whole job that it comes with trucking, I was like, oh man, that's gonna be forever. We're gonna see self-driving cars all over the road before we ever seen, <clears throat> spends out, before we ever seen uh, self-driving uh, big rigs, okay? That's not the case. As a matter of fact, we're most likely gonna see self-driving trucks before we see self-driving cars on the road. Here's why. What is going on is that they're looking to take away the OTR regional dedicated away from truck driving. What does all that mean? What is OTR? OTR is over the road. Uh, regional here on the West Coast is the uh, 11 Western states. Dedicated is something that I used to do, uh, you know, dedicated to Georgia. You drive from Cali to Georgia and that's your, your route. Or I also did uh, Colorado from here to Colorado. That's dedicated, okay? They're looking to take away all the miles in between the cities. Okay, city driving, this is why my mentality was somewhere else. Because I'm like, man, homie, it's gonna be almost impossible to dish out these trucks to drive in the cities. Everything that comes with trucking in the city, man, that's gonna be rough. For just technology to take over that fast but that's not what they're looking at okay they're looking at all those miles in between the cities so basically they're looking to take away the OTR driver okay the over-the-road driver all those miles in between and looking to park outside of the city and transfer that trailer to local drivers so where it stands right now, you know, all trucks, you know, it, it, it requires uh, people, right? So what they're looking into is to uh, basically just turn everybody into a local driver. Now, there's a couple of issues with that. We'll get into that in a minute, all right? But these companies like uh, Too Simple, uh, Embark, these companies are already looking to push this forward in the next few years. I think it was uh, Embark that's looking to push out these trucks in 2024. That's not far from now, depending on when you watch this video. Now, is this going to hit around the entire country in the year 2024? No, it is not. I don't even know the prices of these trucks, but hey, they will be coming. All right. Uh, too simple. They're looking at their routes already. I don't know when they're going to be uh, dishing their out, uh, um, dishing their trucks out. We'll get to the routes in just a minute. Here's what I mean with, 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 the, with the problem of all this. Uh, um, taking uh, OTR and regional and dedicated runs away. Okay, When a driver first gets started, for the most part, for the mo I, I, I've had quite a few people come at me saying like, hey man, I got a local job with no experience, so I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, yes, that does exist that does exist and it can happen it is possible generally speaking though you're gonna have to hit the road very few companies 
take you in as a local driver with no experience. I'm not saying it's impossible. I never said you can't do it. Yes, you can do it. I started truck driving as a local driver. I had my own rig, it's a little bit different, but I started truck driving as a local driver. Most of the times you are gonna have to hit the road. Most of the times I cannot crunch the numbers. I don't know the numbers. I'm just gonna make one up. I'm gonna say 75%, maybe 70. You're gonna have to hit the road to get that experience. And here's the kicker. Here's the thing. If you jump on a local route in the city with no experience, without you even being comfortable in the truck, look, good luck to you, okay? And I really truly mean that. Good luck to you. Because the challenges that you face in a rig, homie, on the, on the city streets, that's, I mean, that's where it gets rough. Okay, jumping on a freeway, hitting the open road, man, that's not too tough. Okay, that that's not that's not that's not the rough part, man. I mean, you know, weather aside, of course, but that's that's not that's not the hard part, man. It's when you get off the freeway, when you get off the major highways, and you got to go into the local towns, the local cities, all these small streets, dealing with all the traffic, the left turns, the right turns, the backing up to certain uh, areas, man, backing up to docks, seeing what what uh, what traffic, the headache that traffic really gives to you on the city streets that is where it gets rough so if you have little to no experience you got to get comfortable in that rig and it takes time and that's where i like the idea of hitting the open road so you can get used to the truck jumping right into the city driving i'm not saying you cannot succeed i'm saying it's a little bit difficult it's more difficult and if you get into an accident, it doesn't have to be a major accident. You could just back up into a parked car. It happens. If you back up to a parked car, that company lets you go because of it. Your trucking career is probably done. At least, you know, for, for a while. Because now you have an accident on your record and you got no experience. So... Anyway, let's go ahead and let's get into these autonomous trucks, okay? Um, so like I said, in the year 2024, uh, there's a major company that's looking to push these trucks out. What the first to go is going to be the southwest of the country. That's what it's looking like. I cannot sit here and tell you these are cold hard facts. But out of all the research that I've done, that's what it's looking like. Okay, I think it's uh, too simple that already has their routes. And basically, it's from Phoenix to Houston. And all that area, all right there, all that open land. Okay, now why, why these states? Why this part of the country? Well, because it's a lot of flat land and you do not have to deal with too many weather issues. Yes, it snows in some of these areas. I mean, look, it snows in California, homie. If you're going up the 15 freeway, if you're going up the 5 up the grapevine, you could, you could run into snow, okay? So to say that there's no weather issues, that's not what I'm saying. But it doesn't, it doesn't have the weather that it does in other parts of the country. So that's what I'm saying, homes. The southwest all the way into Texas. These are flatlands with uh, the least resistance when it comes to weather conditions. A lot of open land. So, Two Simples already looking into this. Embark, like I said, come the year 2024, they're looking from California all the way into Florida. You know what's crazy? Is that one of these companies, the, the head honcho of it, man, he's like 25 years old, homie. That's crazy. I mean, that's just a little food for thought right there. Just think of that. One of these vatos, homie, with, with, that's in charge of building these uh, self-driving trucks, that's in charge of the whole thing. It's like 25 years old. That's, you know, that's something to take in, I guess. But it's going to be the southern part, the, the, the whole southern part of the country, man, from California to Florida mainly mainly california to texas 
all right now i'm seeing a couple of truckers um go out there and say like hey don't go work for these uh major um these major carriers like swift like stevenson uh transport um like warner like the, you know some of these major carriers right they're like nah man because they're gonna be the first to let you go look i'm gonna say the opposite i'm gonna say get in there go get your experience get as much as you can out of them they pay for your training for the most part they pay for your training they'll teach you the ropes some of it kind of mickey mouse it now these autonomous trucks so i would say look if you could get in go ahead get in man get what you can squeeze everything that you can out of them here's the thing they're coming up with this whole orale homes there's not enough drivers out there so that's what these autonomous trucks are there to fill that void to fill that gap now there's a couple of rumors here and there okay some of them let me put the window up and it's getting a little noisy there's a couple of rumors here and there man one of them is that hey man there's no shortage of drivers they're just saying that so they could push these autonomous trucks out there look whether there is or there isn't i think when it comes to true truck drivers i made a video about this i made a video about steering wheel holders and truck drivers when it comes to real true truck drivers yes there's a shortage when it comes to steering wheel holders probably not so much and i did not know i i've never worked for any of these major carriers i've never worked for knight i've never worked for cr england i've never worked for swift i've never worked for any of these major big carriers man and i did not know that this job existed but it does it does exist okay i knew somebody that did this for for this was their job this was their everyday job what was it they worked for one of these major carriers right i think it was swift their job was to go pick up the truck from a guy from a person or from a driver that quit so basically you would have drivers on the road that realize you know what this ain't for me i don't like doing this i'm tapping now come get the truck i'm getting a, i'm getting an airplane I, I, and i'm flying home this ain't for me i quit and that person's job was to fly over there get the truck drive it back to to a swift terminal bam hey there's another one in indiana boom they fly him out there goes and gets that truck hey there's another one in in uh north carolina flies out there goes and gets that truck there's another one man in michigan flies out there goes and gets that truck this happens so much that there's actually a job for it so like i've said in my my previous trucking videos this is not for everybody it is not for everybody there's been people that have made the correlation between this and being incarcerated in ways that's true do not get what do not mistake what i'm saying familia i would much much rather be trucking than be incarcerated homie so do not do not mistake what i'm saying dog okay by far homes by far i'd rather be trucking but there is a small connection to make with it you're on your own you're you know you're in a small area and that's it it's just you that is it you have little to no human interaction man and you could go you go quite a while like that even if you just find a local job you're working 10 14 hours most of the time you know you're in a small confined space so it's not for everybody so again is there a shortage of drivers okay for those that that, that have told me hey nah homie there isn't they're just trying to push these autonomous trucks there is a shortage of true truck drivers steering wheel holders there's not a shortage of but real true truck drivers yes there's a shortage of am i for these autonomous trucks no no i'm not and i i i, I didn't i didn't uh really put mind to it i didn't really truly think about it i was thinking about the whole job that came with being a truck driver 
I didn't think about just eliminating a certain part, which is that is what they're looking to do. For the first part. Eventually, many years down the line, eventually, you know, it's gonna replace everything. But for now, and I did not think about this till I really started doing some research, they're looking to take away the miles in between the cities. So we could definitely see this coming up in the next few years where there's gonna be some uh, terminals, some, probably something like, like as big as a truck stop, maybe even bigger, being built, where these autonomous trucks just go, pull in there, drop the trailer and then a local driver picks it up probably it's you know probably it's 50 miles out of the city picks it up and then takes it into the city so autonomous trucks right now to the best of my knowledge to the best of my knowledge that is they're not in use to the best of my knowledge that is every autonomous truck that is on the road right now is being out there just for experimental use that's to the best of my knowledge familia i do not know of a carrier that is using one of these autonomous trucks yet everything that i've seen the trucks the autonomous trucks that are out there it's all out there for testing purposes so um so, you know, if you're uh, driving in the Southwest, man, if you're driving from California to Arizona, Nevada, all that, look, you're probably going to be the first to go. You're probably going to be the first to go. New Mexico, Texas, probably going to be the first to go, man. And they're going to start pushing drivers into more local jobs. And look, I mean, it does make sense for carriers it does make sense for them. I mean, it is more productive, man. You don't have to worry about hours. Okay, now these are all rules and regulations that are put on us that we need to follow. Okay, I can drive more than 10, 11 hours. I can do that. But these are rules and regulations that are put on us that restrict us. Okay, so there's, you know, there's that. There's no, uh, you know, breaks, lunches. There is no any of that. There is no, you know, 34 hours before you can start your week again. There is no any of that with these autonomous trucks. So I get it. I understand that it does make sense to eliminate these miles between the cities. So, you know, a lot of these over the road drivers, regional drivers, dedicated drivers, um look get it now man if anybody wants to get into trucking because it's always two years experience carriers always want or, or just companies always want two years experience okay get into trucking now if that's what you really want to do do it now go ahead get into some of these major carriers man which just go ahead and they take anybody and everybody man for them for the most part okay for the most part i don't want to exaggerate for the most part But, you know, you'll get your training through them. Do they train you really good? Eh, I, it's, it's, it's up and down. You know what I mean? It's, it's catch and miss, homie. It's hit and miss. It's, it's all, if you talk to some people, they'll say, yeah, they do pretty good. If you talk to other people, they're like, nah, chale, they're trash, whatever. It's all hit and miss, man, you know? So, but I will say those two years experience will come in handy. They will come in handy. If you want to find yourself a more local job. But um, yeah, these trucks are coming a lot faster than what I thought. Like I said, because I was thinking about the whole job of truck driving. And that's not what they're looking into, man. So, um, and definitely the southwest. Basically, just the whole southern part of, of, of the country, man. California to, to, uh, California to uh, Florida. But especially, especially... California, Arizona, Nevada, New Mexico, Texas, definitely, man, is going to be hitting there first and foremost. And um, like I said, some of these already have routes where these trucks are already going for testing purposes, for, to the best of my knowledge.
that they're already just going they're already just going man so you know it's coming it's coming to all my truck drivers out there man you know what keep it between the lines man and um i've said it before i'll say it again i'm damn proud to be a trucker homie straight out straight out and there is a shortage of truckers real true truckers steering wheel holders there's not a shortage of those but real true truckers there's a shortage okay and this is gonna come into play and um it's really gonna change the game it really is man so it's, we'll, we'll be seeing changes here i'm look we're gonna be seeing some major changes in the next five years all right so um you know damn dog keep your hands on the steering wheel and just keep it between the lines familia all right to all my trucking brothers and sisters out there on the wheel man because uh, changes are coming as always, for me, to live your life like you're on the road. Be aware of your surroundings and always keep a safe distance. Blood makes you related, but loyalty makes you family. Until next time, this is Ed the Total Trucker. Over and out.